In the days of the Roman Empire, San Cugat del Valles was near to the strategic Via Augusta, one of the most important routes from Rome and other imperial lands to the peninsula. Near San Cugat, Via Augusta was crossed by a secondary road that ran from Egara, today Terrassa, to Barcino, today Barcelona, through Colserola. It was along this second road that the old Benedictine Abbey of San Cugat del Valles was built, the most significant monastery in the county of Barcelona. These Roman roads are today the fast-moving A7 and E9 motorways, which have brought the surrounding area closer and contributed to the creation of the B30 trunk road, a strategic consortium for the economic growth and innovation of the area. With backing from local public bodies, this project involves the municipalities of San Cugat, Serlaniola and Rubí. This geographical area, with its privileged climate and resources, lies very near to the coast and the French border. It is just a few minutes from Barcelona, through the Valvidreda tunnels, on the Ferrocarrils Catalans trains or the Renfe train network. History and the unique character of the inhabitants of the Valles have in part changed the physiognomy of this area, though it is always sought to be a nerve center in the social and economic mesh of the most innovative Europe. The population along the B30 trunk road is the youngest in the whole of Catalonia, a factor that has led San Cugat to take decisive measures to promote public housing, which now accommodates 8.5% of the population. This means that it has a highly qualified human capital, pursuing further education in science, engineering, architecture and construction. Use of ICTs is also extremely significant. By way of example, 85% of the population in San Cugat has an internet connection in their home. Knowledge of other languages is also higher than the national average. All of this adds up to give us a knowledge-based society in a privileged geographical location where progress goes hand in hand with innovation and where this itself is generated by forging close links between businesses and universities. Development and implementation of innovative business models is just one of the reasons why the municipalities along the B30 trunk road are leaders in the municipal system of business excellent indicators. In addition to qualitative development of the local economy, its gross product has risen by 6.2% and the economic activity indicator has also surpassed the national average. For all of these reasons, a host of high technology companies who operate on global markets have chosen San Cugat as their headquarters. The companies that have seen the greatest growth in recent times have been pharmaceutical, financial, electronic and knowledge-based services. For several years now, the city and some business sectors have played an active role in Living Labs Europe, providing resources and support for research in a range of fields. Locally, the entrepreneurial spirit also brings value to the area. Businesses, knowledge and institutions get together once every two months at the San Cugat Tribuna Business Forum. This initiative was set up four years ago and is now a national benchmark for dialogue and debate where top executives, business people and academics meet over dinner to hear a recognized world expert bring their perspective to the community. The San Cugat area has also attracted leading universities, business schools and research institutions that have created new models for connecting up education, research and business development. The economic parks mentioned earlier and its knowledge centers have evolved to create business creativity parks such as Criapolis. Furthermore, over 50,000 students are continuing their education at the Universitat Autónoma de Barcelona the Universitat Politécnica de Catalunya, the Universitat Internacional de Catalunya, the Universitat Oberta de Catalunya, and the Universitaria Gimbernat School. Research, technology, and information management are at the core of the innovation processes in this area. The Universitat Autónoma de Barcelona is taking part in a scientific project 
geared towards the opening of the Alba Synchrotron in 2010 at the Serraniola de Valles Science and Technology Park. In addition to this scientific facility, said to be the most important ever built in Spain, the surrounding area is to be completely regenerated to create a science axis. The future for San Cugat is bright and dynamic. It is currently undergoing a process of major transformation aimed at consolidating its rapid economic development with a productivity rate that far exceeds the rest of the country. The pioneering Institute of Strategic Management, Economic Promotion and the Information Society is working towards this goal, providing strategic management criteria to public administration. Enriching the quality of life of the people who live and work in San Cugat also means considering its social services and cultural life. With a privileged environment of 8,000 accessible hectares in Colserola, urban parks that give a ratio of one tree to every 2.1 citizens, the most attractive businesses, a host of sports facilities and its important cultural heritage, this Catalan city has always seen its future in Europe.